This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. It's just after 8 o'clock. Our main news this morning, 59 people confirmed dead, another 527 injured after America's worst mass shooting. This is what we know this morning. The atrocity was carried out by 64-year-old Stephen Paddock. He opened fire from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel towards an open-air country music festival. Well, he killed himself as police stormed the room where 23 guns were found. Yes, 23 Later, another 19 guns, explosives, several thousand rounds of ammunition were discovered in a raid on his Nevada home. As victims are named, we hear stories of heroism and humanity in the face of what President Trump called an act of pure evil. Will there be any change as a result in the US gun laws? We've got correspondents, of course, across Las Vegas to bring us the latest. Jonathan Swain is at the Mandalay Bay Hotel where the atrocity occurred. Ross King is at Las Vegas Village, the country music festival site that was targeted. Uh, Jonathan, uh, victims are being named. Um, how many of them? And, um, you know, what sort of effect is this hap having? It's, it's the worst mass shooting in American history. It's absolutely shocking. And each name is another family coping with the trauma and the tragedy. 